Well, I'd be flying in the uh, end of 2016 for a six month mission, expedition, long duration mission to the International Space Station uh, with a Russian and a US crew member, um, blasting off from Baikonur, Kazakhstan, and uh, landing back in Kazakhstan six months after. Exploration to me is a step by step process, and you, you start by sending sending explorers because you don't really know what to expect and then you learn about this new environment and then you get used to it and, and you settle and, um, and then explorers go further, deeper um, and, and then more uh, common people come and, and settle in this new environment. So we've had this step, this, this first step um, in low Earth orbit and now we've been, we've been really We've been really learning how to live in low Earth orbit. So there's been, there's been people for 13 years straight uh, living and working on the ISS. So now, now this acquisition phase, if I dare say, is complete and it's going to be time to go further. And professional nationals are going to venture deeper into the solar system and the low Earth orbit is going to open up to, uh, to the public, I'm hoping. I think that's the, the dream we all share uh, as astronauts is to to step where no one has stepped before, you know, to see with your own eyes, be the first one to see a, a totally new and virgin landscape. Uh, so that's that's a dream we all have. Um, I don't know if I'll if I'll get the chance one day because we're still 10, 15, 20 years away from a manned mission to to Mars. But I'm I'm certainly dreaming about it from time to time. Everything was fun. Everything was fun from from beginning to end. Uh, parabolic fly, as you mentioned, was, was really had a smile on my face. I was beaming the whole time because it's just an um, unbelievable feeling to float in space like this whilst floating in the cabin of an aircraft as a first step. Um, strangely enough, uh, survival training was fun, uh, but the type of fun that is not fun at the time you do it, but it's fun when you think back. Um, and also, I, I liked it because it bounded us uh, really strongly to go through those, those difficult times as a, as a group and to help out each other. So um, it was not quite the vacation you would dream of uh, in Sardinia, but, uh, but, but I, I really am really looking back as one of the, one of the most fun uh, opportunities we had to interact with each other. We've mentioned science, we've mentioned exploration, and, and now communication is, is becoming more and more uh, the order of the day for uh, astronauts on the ISS, which is, which is good on one hand because you have to inspire people, you have to bring uh, teenagers to, to science, technology, and math because we need those people. Um, and it's also good because we show an example of a, of a, of a cooperation um, between different countries with different interests. So, and it works well, it has to be said. So um, it's, it's good to show this to the, to the world, but, but on the other hand, we're walking a thin line because we also have a lot of work to do. So um, uh, communication is good as long as, as you keep focus on the, on, the, on the job, of course. So um, all the tweeting pictures and writing blogs, it always comes on top of, of the normal day of work on the ISS. So it has to be, I mean, uh, it's obviously controlled by, by people. They're looking at our schedule. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really positive and uh, it has to be controlled so that it stays, as, it stays part of the normal activities and it's not done too much on the, in the evenings on the, or on the weekend. I think you're focused because um, it's, um, even though it's the first time you, you ride a rocket to space, it's a very familiar environment because you've trained in the simulator so much. Uh, then you know everything by heart, you know the timeline, you know what's going to happen, you don't know the feelings, but, but you really have a mental uh, model of what's going to happen. So I think you're very, very focused um, and you, you really try not to make mistakes. So um, you don't have time to dream, you don't have time to take a step back and, and look at yourself and, and, and dig in and, and uh, let the moment sink sink in, but um, I think you're very, very focused and you have, once you get to orbit, you have to really take a step back, wake up a little bit and, and tell yourself, okay, now, now I'm, in, I'm in space for real.